The goal of this project is to try to see whether or not the gestures that students perform, the small hand gestures, even the big full body movement uh, gestures can facilitate learning transfer uh, in the area of STEM learning. Gesture is an integral part of our uh, cognitive processes. Uh, therefore, it's natural to believe that if we allow students to use gesture uh, as they interact with an application, there may be ways that we can enhance the cognitive processes. Therefore, by means of that, they can learn better. So the first thing people do when they come to the lab is we uh, introduce them to the simulation. And to do that, we ask them to, to think about different mathematical operations and how they conceptualize those. After doing that, we then have them uh, think of gestures that may relate to those conceptual understanding. That allows us then to train the, the simulation uh, to recognize gestures that map onto the student's specific understanding of those mathematical operations. After we train the system, we then introduce them to a simulation that is different based on the content that we are working with that day, be it earthquakes, pH, bacterial growth. The students then use these gestures that represent their conceptual understanding of the mathematical operations to navigate these simulations. For example, make a earthquake of magnitude 6 turn into an earthquake of magnitude 8. Doing this allows us to have students be able to uh, access the same representations using gestures that correspond to their individual understandings. In the Elastics project, the simulations that students do gets at some big ideas in science, but it does it within a certain context. So what we're trying to do is to take new context where the same idea applies, and then we ask essentially the, a similar thing and see if students can extract the big idea, move it over, and plop it into the new context and run with it. More importantly, what I think it does is it communicates to, to teachers the importance of having a shared context across these content areas, having a mechanism to connect different topic areas such as earthquakes or pH with mathematical topics such as exponential growth or logarithmic scales. We think that this is a way to energize the types of learning technology interactions that happen in classrooms. We can have students engaged in these simulations, having other students and teachers asking them questions, uh, doing different types of exploratory activities in inside of schools. We also think that these technologies could be useful outside of the classrooms, in museums, in zoos, in other types of learning environments where people can be more, uh, can move their bodies and be more expressive.